Okay, this video is a video on infrared, and um, I wanted to show um, this uh, solar cell here again uh, with the infrared. And the reason I'm showing this is John Bodini has come up with a solid state battery that uh, evidently draws energy from the local environment, specifically from infrared. And the selenium that he's using in his crystal battery may work similar to this, I don't know. But this cell here not only works on uh, visible light but infrared light. And uh, I'll show you the uh, little oscillator here. It's just one of these um, uh, blocking oscillators. I've shown them in the other videos. There's different names for them, but they're basically a buck boost uh, blocking oscillator circuit. I'm just using a twist type uh, steel wire for the coils. I've got a radio here so you can listen to it. Uh, let me turn on the uh, flashlight here and you can see how it works with visible light. There's visible light. That tick, 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 blink, blink, blink is as the energy drains out of that capacitor. And this circuit here will run in the microamps. That's why I'm using it to show this demonstration. Now, what I've got here is a my DVD remote. It has an infrared uh, feature here. And the camera can pick up the infrared even though I can't see it. And that's what the infrared looks like right there. The camera can pick it up, but I can't see it. Now, watch this. As I hit the infrared on that panel, It's infrared making that run. Now the other part of the experiment was to see if one of my uh, early cement batteries which was made out of a, a concrete mortar mix and the beach sand had any effect with infrared. And this is one of the uh, beach sand batteries made on uh, February 26, so it's uh, it's going on six months old. So let me hook this up here, and uh, I was surprised it didn't have any effect on it at all. It might not be enough infrared, or there might be something else going on, or it might be strictly uh, another phenomena. I don't know, but uh, I was surprised that uh, I got absolutely no response out of it whatsoever. Okay, there's there's the little oscillator clicking away. You can hear it with the radio. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to shine this infrared TV remote on this. And you'll notice, you can listen to this. You'll hear no, no difference in the rate at all as I press the infrared on this. And I don't know if perhaps there's not enough infrared. Um, I don't know. But I get nothing like what comes off that solar cell using this infrared on this particular thing. And you can see a blink in there on the blue strip of, of tape. That's the infrared. I'll turn it off. There's the infrared going off right there. Now I can't see this with my visible eye, uh, naked eye, but you can see it in the camera. And it doesn't have any effect on this whatsoever. So, uh, the crystal battery project, uh, as soon as I can find out exactly what John used for his uh, mixture and uh, how he cooked it, uh, I'm going to try to make one. But uh, according to him, you have to have everything just right for it to work. And he ran it uh, for a number of days with uh, under load with uh, almost no drop in uh, power output. So anyway, the, the study is being done over at the Energetic Forum on the Bedini Earth Light thread and also at the Hutchinson Crystal Battery thread. Thanks for watching.